there, Sean Wilmot. Today we're looking at the new for 2019 Toyota Hiace, the van that carries it all. So you have your courier delivery drivers first, then you have your tradies, then you have your hospitality sector. Now the hospitality industry is something that Toyota is relatively new to breaking into, particularly with the highest, but they've done it very, very well with a brilliantly executed minibus. And that's quite something because this is actually the sixth generation of the highest, which started life, believe it or not, in 1967. Now, in that time, Toyota's done an awful lot of work with the Hiace. <laughs> well, it hasn't taken them quite that long, but they've remodified this one from the ground up. So it looks very, very different from the Toyota Hiace as you might have seen in the past. The first thing you notice is this, about three foot of extra metal. Now that's basically a legal requirement. They've had to do it uh, basically to consider frontal impact compliance regulations, driver safety, and of course driver comfort. Now those two elements are probably the most critical elements of the Toyota Hiace's redesign. What they've actually managed to do is bring the engine right forward so that it sits above the wheels, and that basically opens up the cabin so the driver is feeling a lot more relaxed. There's a lot less noise, and there's a good deal less warmth of, that comes directly from the engine. And that means you can basically make use of the modern air conditioning systems that these vans have. Underneath this door, the driver's door, we have a full-size step. In the previous generation, it was a platform about that big. Not very good at all when you're wearing big work boots. But now it's the full length of the door, which is great news and makes it easy to get in and out of the cabin. Secondly, we've got these. Dual slider doors on both sides for easy access, which provides a fantastic space for loading when you're talking about a forklift. With this big wide area here, you can basically bring a forklift in with a pallet, just go straight in, nice and simple, and you can get to it from both sides, which is even more handy. Now the second consideration that we've got is down here with this little lip. This doesn't look like it means a heck of a lot. That'll prevent things like nails and screws from falling out onto the ground where you can just roll your van over and puncture your tires. Brilliant thinking, well done. Last but not least, we come around to the very back of the vehicle. Opening the door, of course, we go to a nice tailgate lift like this, which provides an absolutely brilliant shelter area in case of inclement weather. You're not gonna get wet while you're loading. Fantastic move. They've lowered the floor down quite a bit. I think it's about 55 mil from memory, and they've taken out the center step that was here. That's actually made it a heck of a lot easier to load when you're talking about forklift access. So without that step lift there, it's very easy to actually just bring a forklift up with a pallet like this one, just load it straight in between the wheel wells. Brilliant job. Now I mentioned earlier that the Toyota Hiace is now blessed with a 2.8 litre motor that comes directly out of the Hilux. Um, that is a very, very good engine, as we all know. In previous generations, the Hiace has also shared the same engine, but that was when it was a 3 litre turbo diesel, and in the Hiace version, it was detuned. This time around, they've got the 2.8 from the Hilux, and it is not detuned, so you're getting all of the power and all of the torque, and that's quite a lot. In actual fact, we're looking at about 130 kilowatts of power from this particular engine, and that's up about 30 kilowatts from the carryover's 3 litre. Now, added to which, we've also got the torque, which is up around 420 to 450 newton meters. Now that's tree stump pulling power. And as I said, you get the whole lot when you've got the Toyota Hiace. The fuel use, interestingly enough, is down quite considerably. In this particular model, the ZR, the fuel consumption is reduced by about 6%. Now one of the things that the new generation Hiace has in its favour, of course, is much more space in the cabin, which you can see. But what you can't see and what you can't feel is exactly how nice this is to drive. It's got all the creature comforts you could ever want, including the automatic stop-start system, including the um, heated rear compartment if you've got passenger capability. It's got everything you want. Now Toyota's taken great pains to make sure that this is one of the safest vehicles on the road and boy is it safe. We have the adjustable speed limiter which works alongside the smart cruise control. We also have road sign recognition system which basically reads the road signs as I drive past them. So if I'm in a 50k zone, there's a little indicator on the dashboard that will tell me that I'm supposed to be in a 50k zone. If that speed zone changes and another sign comes up, the computer will sit there and say, yes, you now need to adjust your speed. You've also got blind spot monitoring of course in either of the side mirrors here. You've got a rear cross traffic alert and you've got front and rear safety sensors. Well done, it's a brilliant contrivance of all your safety technology and it all works extremely well.
So the interior of the Toyota Hiace for 2019, we have the twin seats obviously, we have the automatic transmission which is a six speed by the way, and we also have our seven inch display touch monitor here which doubles for the sat navigation system and the reversing camera. And you can also access Siri and Google Assistant if your phone is so equipped. We have a multifunctional steering wheel which is leather wrapped, very sophisticated setup here which I don't need to take you through except to say that it's got voice command recognition. We also have these lovely storage trays here which are really quite a godsend. Then you can also use this as added extras walk through into the rear cabin which you've never had before in a Toyota Hiace. And there you have it, the Toyota Hiace for 2019. The van that does it all, covers it all off for the courier, the tradie, the hospitality industry, all in one. It's the van for all reasons, all seasons. Brilliant job, Toyota.